So what happens before is that Raymond Reddington turns himself in and he's the fourth want most wanted in the US and everyone's wondering why and he only wants to talk to Elizabeth Keane who is that new profiler on her very first day of work. So she gets picked up and brought to um, Reddington and speaks with her and he knows stuff about her and she's like oh my god why uh, this is creepy this guy knows stuff about me and then he knows that a criminal uh, called Samani has been brought into the country because Reddington has done it and he knows that Samani is gonna take a US general's daughter uh, at her school so Liz is like he's talking the truth let's uh, call in the SWAT team and Reschler, one of the other police officers who's been working on Reddington for years, he's like, now this is your show, your neck is on the line. And that's how the first act ends. They're gonna call in the SWAT team. So let's continue reading. Act 2. Interior, Pentagon Day. A Marine in the dress blew smooth through the Defense Department headquarters, past security, and into a room full of generals gathered around the table. The man turns as General Dave Riker stands. Riker, 50s, is a four-star general, distinguished, fierce. The Marine salutes. Marine, sir, we have a situation, sir. It's about your daughter. Interior, Haunton Arms Private School, same. SWAT teams storm the hallways as classrooms are evacuated, children everywhere, teachers direct kids into the parking lot, where agents pile out of suburbs and into the sea of children. Pandemonium. Pandemonium? A thousand little girls in plaid skirts and sweaters. Wrestler. What the hell happened? Police commander. Camp and security freaked. Saw SWAT and act activity. No, and activated the emergency plan. Wrestler. Where's the girl? Agents soar through the faces of Lee as Liz searches for Liz. Beth, I'm looking for Beth Riker. A teacher rushes Beth Riker toward it toward Liz. Beth is an angel with the two missing teeth. Bright eyes, heart pounding. Liz takes her hand. Races toward the clo closest suburban. Uh, she can't find wrestler, but there's no time. A SWAT agent lifts the girl into the suburb and Liz dives in behind, motions the driver. Exterior Washington scene. This is so much fa uh, fast pacing, it's like... Oh. Liz and suburb roll through the city. We intercut between the vehicles. Wrestler and Liz are now separated. It wasn't planned this way, but the girl's safe. SWAT teams trail in bumper lock. In Liz's suburban, the little girl stares at the fully armed SWAT agent seated across from her. His radio crackles. Wrestler off screen. Target on board. Notify McNair. Dispatch off screen. Copy. You have a HRT escort. Beth's eyes well with tears as Liz. Can you turn that thing off? The little girl starts crying. Liz. Hey, you're okay, Beth. Is my daddy hurt? Liz. Oh no, your dad is fine. We are on our way to see him right now searching. Hey, your name is Beth, right? I'm Beth. Elizabeth. My friends call me Liz. Beth. My daddy has a pin like that. She's looking at the American flag pin on Liz's uh, lapel. Liz. I bet daddy has lots of medals. Liz sees the caravan in crossing the Potomac. They pass over the massive wardroom Wilson Bridge, escaping Washington. Liz. To get a pin like that, you gotta be really brave, like your dad. Like you were back there. Liz removes the pin from her lapel and pins in on Beth's sweater. Oh, she's so cute with the gib. Beth touches the pin. It reflects the sunlight. She forgets her tears as Beth looks at her own charm bracelet. Kitty jewelry. A trinket from a gumball machine. She takes it off and starts to clip it around Liz's wrist. Oh, Liz. Oh, you don't have to give me. Smiles. Thank you. It's beautiful. Beth. It's a charming bracelet. It's got little animals. Beth leans into Liz, feeling safe now. Liz puts her arm around the girl. She's got a way of putting kids at ease. You better tell. <laughs> Liz, you're safe with me. Liz spots a few tail lights ahead. Liz, into her radio. What's going up ahead? Wrestler off screen. Accident. Dispatch is rerouting. Liz eyes the accident as the suburb slows. Wrestler gets out, talks with the officer, but Liz senses something. Eerie silence. She considers their stalled 
Carvana as she looks in the rear re- mirror to see the bridge lights and traffic signals flickering out. One by one, the power out- outage races towards them like a terrible wave. Liz, it's happening. Inter- it's happening. <laughs> I mean, this is so much stuff happening. It's very exciting to see what's going to happen. How the rider re- uh, ride it. Uh, I use my eyes is kind of like traveling so fast down uh, to the on the page. The entire bridge lurches. Lar- r- Cars shake. The wrestler looks down to see the steel plates between his feet open up. Wrestler, the bridge, turn around, go. The drawbridge has been activated. We intercut among the caravan. Uh, once again, nice way to save time on the page. By use, using intercut, you can um, save much time instead of like right this caravan, this caravan, this room, this room. So if you're gonna move around a lot between this and this, intercut. That's good. Wiggles is jockering to perform the three-point turns as the bridge begins to incline. Lisa's suburban is sideways in the road when she looks up to see a garbage truck barreling toward them. Liz, get down! Liz covers wet with her body as the garbage truck slams into the driver's side of their suburban. Suburban. Glass sprays. The driver is killed on impact as the suburban is shoved toward the rising gap in the bridge. And across, uh, and across uh, the interlocking scene, gears turn. The traffic decks rise up to a 15% incline. A man leaps from uh, his car before it falls through the widening gap into the power mark below. Now 20% rising. Liz realizes the suburb is now on the other side of the traffic deck. The gap in the draw- drawbridge has effectively separate Liz and Beth from the rest of the caravan. At 25%, cars begin to sco- scoot, sliding downward. Liz looks to see a team of mass kidnappers racing up t- the traffic deck, toward her, past her car. They race to the apex of a bridge and anchor rippling hooks into the steel deckling. 30%, ped- pedestrians tumble down the traffic deck. Agents scramble to no avail. The king members drop the down toward Liz of repelling lines, scooting with the car. One king member takes out a gun and... So much action here. Uh, but it's a very intense scene, if you have seen it. And you can really tell uh, that it's really intense on the page as well. Because there's no dialogue, a lot of stuff happening. Kabam! Shoots through the window. Kills Liz's SWAT agents. Blood spray hits Liz. Beth screams. Liz tumbles and lands against the windshield, loses her gun. The door above them opens to reveal a masked kidnapper. Liz, take my hand, Beth. Stay with me. The kidnapper climbs into the car, reaching for Beth. Liz swats at him as he grabs the little girl. She reaches out. Liz, Beth, take my hand. They lock eyes. 40%. The girl grabs Liz's hand, but suddenly the suburban falls. Liz goes with it. As the car falls away, the kidnappers left holding Beth, dangling from the rippling line as Liz car rolls twice, lands hard. The kidnappers holding Be- Beth climbs up toward the ap- apex of the bridge, which is now fully open below on the p- Potomac. A speedboat arrives. The kidnappers appeal, rappel down, girl in hand, into the boat. As they speed away, Liz opens her eyes. Her world slips into focus. Has she really fallen that far, though? Because it f- sounds like she would die, but... I mean, I think in the show... Mm, maybe I don't remember. I don't have a memory of her falling, like, far with the carpet. Because that's how I imagine it being. Uh, lands hard. Anyway, she reaches out. Lying among the splinter glass, she finds Beth Charm bracelet. Hmm. Interior FBI headquarters day. Liz sits on the bench in a hallway. A small bench covering a split on her bro- brow. She holds Beth's charm bracelet like a rosary. S- stares ahead, unblinking, eyes locked on the silent image of Jenny Reichel, who can be seen through the glass wall of Cooper's office. Reichel is screaming at Cooper and Wrestler. Eviscerating. Well, how do you write that? Uh, read that? Eviscerating. Eviscerating. I don't know. The agents. Tears well in Liz's eyes as she watches. Heavy with, heavy with guilt. She knows she may have cost the general starters her life. Liz is watching. 
this verbal bra when her phone vibrates. She looks down. She seeks mixed calls, realizing the time as Liz panicked. Tom, my God, I meant to call. We interrupt with Tom, pacing nervously, sneaking a call in the hallway out of their adoption agency. Once again, saving time with intercut. Tom, are you close? What's going on? Liz, I'm stuck here. Stuck? You're kidding, right? Everyone's waiting. Liz, I'm the worst. I'm so sorry. It's just Tom, this crazy day. Wrestler knocks on the glass, waves Liz into the office for f- for ass shooing. She holds up a finger, asking General and the others to wait. Juggling Thomas, soft, compassionate. Lizzie, babe, it, if this is too much, we don't have to do this. We can start a family next year. I can tell these people right now. But if we want to go through with this, we got to do it together. I can't do it alone, Lizzie. I need to know you're, you're 100%. Liz looks at the waiting general, turns her back on him. Her priorities suddenly slip in focus. Liz, I'm 100%, Tom. You say that, but Tom. Liz, Tom, our family, it's all that matters. She's speaking from her heart. He smiles. Tom, I believe you. Case agent off screen. Mr. Keen, is your wife coming? Tom wipes around. Wipes. Whips around. Great, greets the case agent with a big warm smile and and an extended hand as Tom to Liz Tender. Let me handle Liz. Liz, good luck, babe. Love you. Liz hangs up. Can he even do that by himself? Like if they're gonna adopt a baby, she needs to be there. Liz hangs up, smiles herself. She loses herself in the warmth of Tom when General Riker comes storming out of the office, moving down the hallway. Liz, sir. The general turns to Liz. I want to personally tell you how sorry I am for your daughters. General Riker, sitting. You're not just out of, of a job. I'm gonna see to the DOG files charges. Criminal negligence. You better beg God my girl comes home alive because this... You better beg God my girl comes down home alive because this thing is coming down on you, sweetheart. Riker marches off down the hallway. I'm gonna get her back. As the general disappears, Liz plugs down onto the bench, feeling helpless. She locks at Beth's charming bracelet and clips it back around her wrist. Considers the tiny animals. She then opens her hand and we reveal a burn scar on the inside of Liz's palm. It crawls up her wrist and into her sleeve like a some twisted blooming wine. Win. Into wine. <laughs> Liz makes a loose fist, runs her fingers over the unseen scarf tissue that have it all rolling motion. We leave Liz here, there, wrestling, wrestling with some distant memory. Cut to black. End of act. So in this act, it happens a lot of stuff. They go there to grab the girl and then she's being taken. And at the end, Liz feels responsible and promises she's gonna get the girl back. And if you will analyze the story, you can analyze the beats within a scene, within a sequence, within an act, the whole story, the whole season. (laughs) This uh, act is like seven pages, uh, pages. And the midpoint, which is should be like a false defeat or like a false victory usually happens in the middle and how they have written this is like when they grab the girl that's pretty much in the middle I think Uh, so that's like uh, a defeat Uh, and at the end of this act you can see like Liz she is touching her scar and you can tell she's hiding something like um, I mean not hiding but there's something from her past and what which makes this scar important to her which is kind of cliffhanger but I think the cliffhanger is also that she's like I'm gonna get that girl back it's a very intense story and you can really tell they have worked on the beats and like turning points like oh yeah they're gonna get the girl oh no they didn't get the girl oh no the dad is mad oh yeah Liz is gonna get her back I really like this uh, act it's really fast forward a lot of action not much dialogue more stuff happening because i remember this in this uh, in the actually show and it's very intense a lot of stuff happening at the same time i mean i mean with all the calls falling over and stuff anyway if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing and add a comment below do you like this format do you like the show do you like this act did you analyze anything when reading it with me i really like making this video 
it's fun and it's, it makes me read and think about stories and how to write and not write. So yeah, I really like it. And I hope you do too. And yeah, I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye.